All right, so in this tutorial series, what we're going to do is look at how I take these characters, clean them up, so I have like a single character. Um, so the first thing is we talked about this previously with the prompt. Um, I'll use a character. So in this case, I did businessman. Um, what's the character doing? And this one I use thinking and gesturing. I always like to throw the word gesturing in there just because it gives me different things. Three poses so that we get three characters on a panel. Then I do flat vector, illu flat, flat vector illustration and then white background. And white background is just so it's a cleaner background. It's easier for me to clean up. And flat vector illustration is just the style. I can use any style I want to. So um, these are the ones I did. And I added no jacket, blue shirt just to see what would happen. Uh, what's interesting is there's only one that has no jacket, blue shirt. It's the worst one because they're all three basically the same pose and one of them is missing an arm. Now, if I wanted to use these, I could cut this arm and put it over there and that could cover up this empty spot. So we've got three characters. These kind of look the same, right? This is the one that I think has the um, most that I can work with. So I'm just going to go ahead with that one. So what I did is I just upscale that. So that will upscale that panel. And then I did uh, a new version. So it does another iteration of that at a minimal setting. So I got a panel with four more. And so I upscaled all of those. Now they don't all look the same. So you can open those in the browser, which I have here. So you'll notice that um, as I upscale them, like this has kind of got more rounded eyes. Um, this probably works. It's round. It's a little bit different. Um, this one, the eyes, the faces, it's a little bit, you've got a more rounded nose right here. You've got a, a, a little bit more pointy nose and here you've got a different type of nose. So they're all a little bit different. This one, the eyes are way too big. Um, and then in, in that as well, uh, some of the hands and things are messed up. So if we start looking at the characters, like some of these hands, I might want to clean that thumb out. Um, there's one of them, I think this, the side hand here is all wonky. So um, what I can do is on some of these other pictures, I have like a side hand, I can, I can move that over. These hands look weird here, that's okay. When they get vectorized, they get cleaned up. If you want to, you can go in with Photoshop and, and clean those lines out. Um, but again, I try to do minimal editing, so I'll show you some of the things I do. Uh, the nice thing is these are all kind of body parts, right? So if I like this head, I can take this head and then I can put that on all the other characters. So at least I have the same head on the characters with different poses. So there's a lot of, a lot of options that you have when you do this. The main thing for me is that we want to do it very quick. So um, I go into Photoshop. Um, we'll go ahead and open those up in Photoshop and then we'll do some of those minor edits. I'm not going to show you every edit, but I'll show you kind of the main things.